Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Cancer. This is going to be for your February 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Uh, we're going to take a look to see if your ex will come back. Um, so um, these uh, this reading is for the Cancerian individuals that are currently entertaining the idea of wanting to reconcile with an ex or an ex wanting to reconcile with you or both of you guys are looking for that. So uh, we're going to take a look and see what your mutual energies are between you and your ex. Uh, we'll take a look and see what caused the separation between you guys and then we'll finish off the read to see if there's going to be a successful reconciliation between you two. So apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Um, if this message uh, didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Um, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, cancer people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I uh, suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right. So cancer, tell me about cancer here. The, um, tell me about the mutual energies between cancer and their ex for February, 2023. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Cancer. All right. Even though, even though I'm asking about the mutual energies, it could be a situation that only one of you guys is feeling and thinking this way. Okay. So, like I said, apply this to your own unique situation. All right. Queen of Cups in the reverse, and the Hierophant in the reverse. I feel like a, this is the energy of like this connection is broken and it, it can never come back together again. Okay. You know, with the queen of cups here, I just feel like, you know, th this is you cancer. You're just not interested in reconnecting with anyone at this point here, cancer. Okay. Um, Taurus energy with the hierophant. Ten of cups. The tower. King of Swords in the reverse. I do feel like this connection was incredibly dysfunctional. Uh, Ten of Cups here in the Tower, Aries Scorpio energy. Yeah, I, I just feel like there was like a, a just a major shift in this connection here. I, I just feel like the connection was not really built on a, a, like a solid foundation here. This is so interesting because I feel like both individuals here were in this like very low vibing energy. And I feel like it was kind of like, it was like a toxic connection almost. There was control here. There was arguing. There was emotional abuse. There was like verbal abuse here. Okay. King of Swords in the reverse in the world. I don't really see this coming back together here. Yeah, I just feel like, you know, Cancer, I feel like you're remaining silent. You're trying to tap into your higher self here. And I just feel like you're moving on from this. High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces Energy, Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands, the Tower, and the Hermit. Yeah, what we have here, I, say, I just feel like, you know, Cancer, you could be releasing this. You could be doing some soul searching right now. Yeah, trying to heal. Yeah, trying to move on from this. Yeah, this can't come back together. And I feel like you know that with the High Priestess right there. Tell me about the uh, King of Swords in the reverse, the Hermit Virgo energy, the Empress, the World, and the Justice card. Libra energy. I feel like this person knows that they lost a good one here. Okay. Um, I, I just feel like you and this person were just not on the same page here. This person saw growth, expansion here with you, marriage here also. But I, I just feel like this is interesting because I feel like when you met this person, I feel like your whole 
energy shifted to this negative energy. Something happened. Yeah. And I feel like you're trying to like recover right now. And I feel like you have. Because you're in this Empress energy right now. Libra, Taurus. What caused the separation here between Cancer and their ex? What caused the separation here between Cancer and their ex? 4, February 2023. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have the Five of Swords. We have the Death card. There was a lot of competition here. Yeah, there was, I, I feel like this was like a very competitive connection. Like, I feel like someone here was trying to, like, you guys were trying to one-up each other, and I feel like that's what caused the ending here. I just feel like someone here could not accept, like, defeat. Or, like, someone here just could not allow someone to get the last word, you know what I mean? The death card, Scorpio energy here. There was jealousy here. I just feel like there was a lack of trust here between you guys. Nine of Cups here and the Two of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles here and the Knight of Cups. I, I just feel like, you know, it, it's kind of like, okay, if this person's not reliable, I'm not going to be reliable too. It was kind of like you guys were pinging this energy back and forth to each other. I, I just feel like there was like selfishness here. There was like juggling. It's kind of like, okay, if you're going to play this game, I'm going to play it too. And I'm going to do one better than you. It's kind of like it was this back and forth. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The Five of Swords, Ace of Swords, Death, and the Moon. I feel like there was a lot of secrets here too. Like I feel like you guys weren't sharing your full stories about your, li your life to each other. Yeah, there was like th things being omitted, things being made up here. The Moon, Cancer, Pisces here. Tell me the Nine of Cups. Yeah, I just feel like this connection was not built on a solid foundation here. Nine of Cups and the Three of Cups, Two of Pentacles here and the Four of Swords. It just seems like someone here was paranoid that there was something going on behind your back. I, I just feel like you couldn't even go out and have a good time with, with your friends without worrying about this person doing something crazy. Vice versa. Yeah. Four of Swords here. Page of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Cancer, I do feel like you really wanted this connection to work out. I feel like you were trying everything that you could. But I, I feel like someone here came off extremely disengaged and very cold towards you. And like I said, I feel like when this person did that, I feel like you did that too. Yeah, you guys were pinging the energies back and forth to each other, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Will there be a reconciliation between Cancer and their ex? Will there be a reconciliation between Cancer and their ex for February 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Cancer. Judgment and the Fool. Three of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Six of Swords here and the Six of Pentacles. So we have Judgment and the Fool. So Judgment, Sagittarius energy, the Fool, Aries energy, Aquarius energy, Three of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Maybe someone here does want, to, does want a reconciliation. Six of Swords here and the Six of Pentacles. Let's see, tell me about Judgment here. Five of Cups, the Fool, Nine of Swords. It seems like someone here wants a second chance. The thing is, I feel like someone here is really stressed out that they're going to feel let down again. Three of Pentacles. The Lovers, Six of Cups, and the Two of Swords. You know, I feel like someone here does want a reconciliation, does want to work on this connection here together. Um, 
with the Two of Swords, I feel like someone here is in denial about what transpired here between you guys. It's like jumping back into sort of like the lion's den here almost. Yeah, kind of like throwing yourself into the fire again. Uh, because I just feel like this is not a very healthy connection here. Six of Swords with the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and then the Six of Pentacles here and the eight, uh, 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 Queen of Wands. I do feel like you're going to give it a shot here, but I, I just feel like this is going to turn out to be very toxic here. Yeah, so I, I just feel like someone here is definitely throwing themselves into the fire here again. Because I, I, I do feel like this is not really going to turn out well, from what I could tell. So Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.